Welcome to another edition of JTJU, where we all try to be just a little better at the game of Clash of Clans. We've got another Hero and Goat screencast up for you, this time from our war on 622 versus Wisconsin Sinners. While they may be from our same state, or at least a lot of us, they were not of the same caliber, losing 105 to 89. But that said, enough gloating. Let's move on to who was the hero. As the fog clears over the battlefield, it begins, as most battles do, a T-Dub. Oh Lord! A Max Dragon appears. But no worries, our hero has a plan. He drags it over to the air defense on the backside, lightnings it, and the air defense. Double dip. Nicely done. Now to get the other backside air defense there in the bottom 6 o'clock position, he drops around 10 hogs while under fire from the dragon and king. He didn't know they had a max dragon to deal with, so that was actually a little bit of luck there. He gets it down, so the main push begins against that minimum, the lowest sized air defense. Probably, or I know, by plan, because you want your dragons that push in there, they're going to take a little longer to get it down to not get nicked up as bad. So at that point, we've got that sucker down, a lot of dragons still left. The only thing that could really damage him is the uh, archer tower, so we'll speed it up here. Uh, and you can see the hero move right in through the w for the win with, I think, about seven seconds left on the clock. The hero, Alexander Lambert. Way to go. Other notable contenders you can see in the left there listed out, as well as the techniques they use that others might want to apply. Or, for a full detailed review of all the hero contenders, go to the link at the bottom right there. But enough of that, let's take a look at the goat. Okay, school's in session with the goat. Issue number one, notice how he's using an archer to trigger the clan castle. Usually you want to use something that can take a lot of shots so that it can sit there for a while and be allowing the clan castle to fully empty. He only gets a part of it. So he's going to have to go back here in a minute. Second problem, he doesn't drag the troops far away enough from the walls and defenses that he can't get shot. So he's getting shot by that archer tower while he kills the clan castle with archer, losing archers he didn't need to. And this problem will now even get worse because now he's getting a little closer as he inches up. He drops his dragon, which we'll talk about in a second, but he's going to now get shot by the air defense inside because he's too close again. So really two big problems here. Wrong triggering mechanism and too close, too close, too close. After that, everything else is just reactionary waterfall brought to this. And you can see there, once the heal spells are down, the whole attack's gone. Because with this style of attack, what you want to do, kill the clan castle troops away from the walls, put the giants in, heal support with spells until both air defenses are down, then drop the healers with wizards at that point and push through. Um, that didn't work out in this case. Um, and we moved on. Now the other issue I mentioned was his army caps aren't leveled for his town hall and so he actually doesn't have enough troops even for the level of town hall he's at. And so the first thing you should do with a town hall upgrade is max your town hall, your clan castle and max your army camps because you use those things all the time. Uh, so he's trying to fix that now but it's a lesson to be learned for all of us. First thing you do on every town hall upgrade max the, max the army camps. So our goat Fat Big Max. You can see the other uh, opportunities for improvement, if you will, from our last war. You can see there uh, the different things listed on the left, or if you want to take a full detailed review, you can go to the link there at the bottom right. But as always, till next time, good luck in your wars and clash on. <laughs>